The story of how stars are born and eventually die can be a complicated one. After all, the life and death of stars is determined by many factors, including its mass and environment. Take, for example, Cygnus X3. For decades, astronomers have studied this object and determined that it is a so-called X-ray binary. This means that it is, in fact, a pair of objects. One of the objects is a compact source, either a neutron star or black hole, that was produced by the death of a massive star that is pulling material away from the other object, a living companion star. In 2003, astronomers noticed something else when observing Cygnus X3 with Chandra. They saw another source very close to Cygnus X3 on the sky. Thanks to Chandra's unparalleled X-ray vision, they were able to resolve this source even though it was a mere 16 arc seconds away on the sky. To put it another way, the separation of Cygnus X3 and this new source is equivalent to the width of a penny about 800 feet away. Astronomers nicknamed this new object the Little Friend. Recently, a team of astronomers has combined Chandra data with radio data from the sub-millimeter array to learn more about both Cygnus X3 and the Little Friend. They determined that the Little Friend is a Bach globule, which is a small, dense, very cold cloud. The radio data shows that the Little Friend is producing jets, indicating that a new star is forming inside. This unusual configuration of an X-ray binary so close to a Bach globule provides astronomers with a new way of studying how stars, or at least some of them, form. <laughs>